you to do my time. Don't want any trouble. Keep my head down. You're the Green Arrow. Wrong guy. Avoid conflict. They're all afraid of you. This is prison. We were playing by the wrong rules. How's he holding up? He's surviving. Oliver asked us to carry on. Longbow Hunters are a direct connection to Diaz. They're the best lead we've had on him in months. Argus is handling it. Diaz took everything from me. My husband, my family, my life. I don't have anything to lose. My days in the field were over the day Oliver went to prison. Is that the Green Arrow? I don't know who the hell that is. We both know that new Green Arrow is not who you should be looking for. We can tell you with 100% certainty that he is not Oliver Queen. This is someone new. Alright, what is going on guys, it's Taz here, and welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got for you guys is another Arrow video. As teased by Stephen Amell on Friday, today Monday, exactly one week until the premiere, we have a brand new sizzle reel trailer for Season 7 of Arrow, and this trailer shows us some pretty awesome stuff. So without any further ado guys, let's get into my breakdown for the Arrow Season 7 sizzle reel trailer. The trailer starts off again as most of the Arrow trailers have for Season 7, with Oliver working out in prison and saying that he's just trying to lay low and stay away from fighting and just serve his time there in Slabside. Next, we get a really cool shot of the outside of the prison at night during a storm, and it kind of looks like Alcatraz or something, just thought it was cool. But next, we get a really interesting shot of some of the inmates looking over at Oliver in the cafeteria or lunchroom, and one of them is kind of all shadowed out and looks kind of just like a silhouette or something. So could this possibly be the mystery inmate that everybody has been talking about? We then get to see a bit of what we've seen in past trailers again with Oliver and his prison fights in the shower, in the cafeteria, and in the prison yard with some of his former foes. And it does seem like after these fights, everyone will end up leaving Oliver and his new friend Stanley alone, but this doesn't come without consequences. It seems like Oliver is going to end up in solitary after these brawls, so it will be very interesting to see how long he's actually going to be in there. It would be pretty cool if we ended up getting an entire episode of Oliver alone in solitary, and having an episode this season that is very similar in the way it's laid out to the episode back in season 5 when Prometheus captured Oliver for pretty much an entire episode. But next we transition back over to Star City with Renee asking Diggle how Oliver is holding up in prison, followed by a couple of more shots of a bloodied and beaten Oliver Queen back in Slabside. We then get to see how everything in the city is holding up while Oliver has been away, and spoiler alert, things have not been too great. It does seem like Dinah has been continuing with her job at the SCPD, Renee is also seemingly going out into the field too, most likely Dinah is just kind of letting him tag along or something, and then we also do get to see Black Siren out there in the field as well. Very excited for more of the anti-hero Black Siren Earth 2 Laurel this season, with her hopefully ending up joining Team Arrow once Oliver gets out of prison and everything goes back to relatively normal later on in the season. Next up we get a pretty interesting shot here with Diggle, Anatoly, Renee, Dinah, Felicity, and Black Siren all looking like they've just been through something, which was most likely their encounter with Diggle and his Argus agents from a couple of frames ago that came into the hideout, the sort of makeshift bunker that the remnants of Team Arrow were held up in. So this will be interesting to see how far Diggle is willing to take this no vigilante thing in Star City, or will he make an exception for his former teammates? Right after this, we see Renee back in the classic wild dog suit and mask up on a building or something surrounded by a bunch of smoke, so I guess he doesn't really fear that no vigilante law anymore. Next, we get a few shots of a scene where Diaz is shooting at Renee, who is wearing an FBI jacket, and then it transitions 
transitions into our first look at the Longbow Hunters. The first of which has a Guardian style shield, another Longbow Hunter has some sort of red dart arm gauntlet thing, and then the third and final Longbow Hunter, not sure what she does, but I guess we will find out in episode 2, which is going to be simply titled, The Longbow Hunters. After our short little introduction to the Longbow Hunters, we get to see that things with Oliver in prison have not only been tough on Felicity and William, but it has also affected Curtis as well. So it seems like he's gone back to being more professional and business-like based off of his suit, and most likely with him working back at the company he started with Felicity. Next, we get a few quick shots in montage form of some of the things that we can expect to see in the first couple of episodes of Season 7. And then finally, the trailer ends off with some clips of the new mysterious imposter Green Arrow running around Star City, with Black Siren confirming to the people of Star City that it is definitely not Oliver Queen. So then who is it? And I think that will definitely be a big question, at least for the first part of this season. Is it Roy? Is it a member of the Longbow Hunters? Or is it one of the new characters that have been cast for the season? I guess we will just have to wait and find out. So overall guys, that brings us to the end of this trailer. A pretty great trailer. Some of the stuff in it we've seen before and some of the stuff in it is obviously some brand new stuff and it is pretty nice to see as well. But that gets me very excited for Season 7 of Arrow. Can't wait to see all of the new stuff with Oliver in prison. Diaz and the Longbow Hunters, as well as the return of Roy. I cannot wait until next week. So, other than that, guys, I want to know your thoughts on this brand new trailer down in the comments below. Who do you think is that mysterious new Green Arrow imposter, and how do you think Roy is going to be reintroduced into the season? I want to know your thoughts on everything down in the comments below. But, real quick here at the end, while I was making this video, the promotional images for episode 2 of The Flash season 5 titled Blocked were released, and they do show off some pretty cool shots from the episode. In one of the pictures where we see everybody in the Cortex after most likely their first encounter with Cicada, you can see that Cisco has his hand all bandaged up, most likely meaning that Cicada was able to stab him with the lightning bolt dagger, possibly taking away his powers leading to the title of episode 3, which is the death of Vibe. Then other than that, the only other big thing from these pictures are just that there are some cool shots of Barry, Iris, and Nora all together, which is always nice to see. So with that said guys, what do you think of the Arrow trailer? What did you think of these promotional images for episode 2 of The Flash Season 5, and are you excited for all of our DC TV shows to come back here in the next couple of weeks? Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. But until next time guys, it's been Taz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.